disinformation in the Philippines, disinformation in Russia, and now disinformation in the United States, as documented in Lies, Politics, and Democracy, directed by Michael Kirk and produced for Frontline by Michael Kirk, Mike Weiser, and Vanessa Fica, with reporting by Tim Alberta and Jelani Cobb. Judges called this behind-the-scenes account of Trump and his allies a masterpiece, fair, accurate, remarkably clear, and definitive, showing how disinformation can destroy effective communication and turn lies into reality. The film is a powerful advocate for democratic norms. Let's watch a clip. If there is no real consequence and there's no exile for a political figure who's orchestrated this kind of violence, and this person remains not only within the fold, but still effectively, culturally, the leader of the party. My fellow Americans, our movement is far from over. In fact, our fight has only just begun. But it only means that it's much more possible that we would have an election where a loser would be able, through political subversion, and use of force to actually gain power and become the president. For Liz Cheney, who had voted for impeachment, January 6th was a turning point. She crossed the Rubicon. She experienced January 6th to a point where it was so traumatic she can't come back from it. She made the decision that I'm going to fight this battle. If it cost me my job, so be it. The verdict of history is worth it to me. This is what I'm willing to do. Kevin McCarthy and his allies voted Cheney out of the leadership. Congresswoman, do you feel betrayed by today's vote? I think that uh, it is uh, an indication of where the Republican Party is, uh, and I think that the party uh, is in a place that we've got to bring it back from. We cannot be dragged backward uh, by uh, the very dangerous lies of a former president. Thank, Thank you. Very you. Much. In her primary, McCarthy and other Republicans endorsed Cheney's opponent and ultimately helped to defeat her. The Republican Party is in a very grave place. The Republican Party is the party of Trump. Um, and what comes with that is that you are the party of the big lie. You are the party of undermining American democracy. It's the party that's swiftly pivoted back to this man. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up hurting them in the long run. The Cronkite Award for Lies, Politics, and Democracy goes to Michael Kirk, Mike Weiser, and Vanessa Fica. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Jelani Cobb with producer Vanessa Fica. Uh, first, uh, Mike, uh, could, Mike Kirk couldn't be here because, uh, fittingly enough, uh, he's working hard uh, on his next film. Uh, and uh, as with everyone who has preceded me, uh, very uh, much uh, indebted to and very respectful of everything that, uh, that Rainey Aronson Rath has done, uh, also, you do not want to be late. <laughs> so you want to make sure that you're on time um, working with Randy. And so he's working on that. He's working on that right now. Um, so it, it falls to me just to say a few uh, words on uh, his behalf and on behalf of uh, this film. And uh, what occurred to me at the outset uh, is something that I tell students and for years have told students at the beginning uh, of my American history course. Uh, and you know, what I'd say to them is that the first thing that you have to understand is that in the span of human history, democracy is a fairly new occurrence. Uh, that when we think about 
the span of the past, the great majority of people who have ever lived on this planet have existed under one form of tyranny or another. And the point at which there came to be constraints upon the power and the authority of people who govern, and the point at which the rights of individuals who are governed was, became the primary focus and the, and the five primary uh, point of government is new. And what I would say to them is that it would be like a person who has had a 20-year smoking habit who has gone three months without a cigarette. It's admirable, but also key that you bear in mind that the negative habit persisted much longer than the new habit has. And in that way, the safeguarding of democracy is the work that falls to every single one of us, particularly those of us who work in journalism. We have seen uh, in this nation's history what happens in the course of disputed elections, most notably in 1824 and in 1876, uh, both of which had disastrous consequences. The 1824 election resulted in the collapse of the two-party system uh, in the United States. Uh, the 1876 election resulted in the end of Reconstruction, which set off waves of violence directed, brutality and murder, directed at the newly emancipated uh, enslaved population, formerly enslaved population throughout the South. And so, what is key to this is maintaining a steadfast adherence to the belief that the truth exists, that it can be discovered, and that in disseminating it, we can make a difference in people's lives. The last point that I'll make very quickly is to say that when we look at the history of demagogues in American life, uh, they have typically mastered one form of media uh, or another. If we go back to the 1930s, we saw Father Coughlin, uh, who made use of what was then the novel technology of radio. Uh, if we looked in the 1950s and we saw the rise of Joseph McCarthy, uh, he had figured out ways to game print newspapers uh, and say that if he could, as I would tell my students, uh, he would lie exponentially knowing that the newspapers could only fact check arithmetically. Uh, and would be able to give a kind of exponential injection of untruth uh, into the American public. And these are things that we should be mindful of in the era of social media. Uh, the, the, the problem may be uh, significant and may be serious, but it is not novel. Uh, and as media uh, came to understand how to rise to the challenge that was before us in those other circumstances, we can do the same in this moment. Uh, and the last uh, thing that I'll say is that um, I want to make sure that we speak for everyone. Obviously, uh, we are you know, very much indebted uh, to Rainey uh, and for everyone who was involved, producers Michael Kirk, Mike Weiser, and Vanessa Fica, uh, reporters Tim Alberta, uh, myself, uh, and also Vanessa Fica, uh, and Brooke Nelson, and Brooke Nel Nelson Alexander, and writers uh, who are Mike Kirk and Mike Weiser. Uh, and also Elliot Choi as editor. So thank you. <laughs>